Greetings and welcome to the Q&A for the comedy block Teenage Water Polo here at Buff 22. Uh, I am Kevin, I'm one of the programmers for Buff and uh, I'd like to introduce you to some of our filmmakers. Um, uh, can we start off with Joe? Yeah, hi, I'm Joe. I made the film uh, Take Him Down. Um, Matthew? Uh, hello, I'm Matthew Chozik here. I directed Toshie the Nihilist and I'm sitting right next to the actress uh, who played Toshie. So, Higarino. Hello, everyone. My name is Hino Higa. <laughs> Hi, Rino. Nice to meet you. Um, Jim? Hello, my name is Jim McDonough. I made, they used to call me crazy. <laughs> Neil? Hey, I'm Neil Ciceriga. I uh, co-directed uh, the amazingly aerodynamic, unleaded, and quadrocylindrical fly -o -mo car or shitty, shitty bang bang. <laughs> David. I'm David Gazzo. I wrote and acted in uh, Johnny the Dime. Izzy. Hey, I'm Izzy Lee, and I directed, co-wrote, co-produced, meet friend. And Sarah. Hi, I'm Sarah Gold. I wrote and directed Bless. All right. Um, I just want to start off with uh, questions about like what was the the start of your project? Like what what was the genesis? Like what how did it come about? Uh, if we start with Joe. Yeah, I was accepted into this program to uh, learn how to use Unreal Engine. Uh, I'm a visual effects artist for 20 years. And Epic Games was running this program. And as part of the program, we had to make a short film. And so that was the, the thing that sort of got me started into it. Great. Um, Matthew? I, uh, I thought there weren't enough comedies about cryptocurrency. So I wanted to kind of uh, make one and then have the movie really be nothing about that. Uh, Jim? So I had a lot of fun on my first um, documentary uh, uh, show called my, they used to call me crazy. And it, we were down in lockdown and I was trying to think of my next project. And um, Tim Tate narrated that one. And I had this narration of my dad who had passed out. Well, not, I had him like telling stories, um, you know, before he had passed away. And I was like, I could do the same thing. So I kind of decided to take that audio and, you know, get art from all my family, my, you know, sons, nephews, wife, aunt, sister, and we and I kind of turned it into a, like a big cartoon, if you will. Neil? Uh, my co-director, Ryan, uh, acquired a drone and uh, we wanted to basically use uh, the drone footage of our hometown and incorporate it into a short film. So we thought, why not a flying car? Uh, David? Um... I wrote this uh, about eight years ago, and I got the idea from uh, while smoking a cigarette outside my bathroom window in Jersey City and realizing my neighbors could see me getting changed. And I had the thought, well, what if they could see my sisters getting changed? Because I have four sisters, like, what would I do? And then I just kind of evolved from there. Is he? Well, this is about my 20th short film, and... I've just been getting weirder and weirder and I just needed something really heightened to take me out of this crazy heightened reality that we live in. Uh, Sarah. Um, I kind of just wanted to play with something that was live action, but felt animated. So I thought immediately puppets is probably going to have to be the way. And I didn't really have the budget to make really like intricate puppets, like the Muppets or anything like that. So sock puppets was where it landed. So uh, starting backwards from there, uh, Sarah and Izzy both use puppets in your the, your films. Um, Sarah, Sarah, as far, but your, your film is very personal. Uh, it's, like what is, growing up, what was the closest um, like equivalent experience to, to um, the situation portrayed in your film? Um, well, I kind of based it off of both realizing more things about my government and the country and just the news in general. And also learning new things about myself, which is not always the most enjoyable experience. Um, so I think just, it's about like that overwhelming feeling. Like I think, especially after the pandemic, a lot of people felt this of just constantly hearing the news and hearing all of these horrible things right after each other. Um, 
So bliss is supposed to really encapsulate the feeling of that really overwhelming feeling of knowing like way too much and questioning whether, and for me, I question a lot of things about like watching the news. Do I really want to know all of this stuff? Maybe ignorance is bliss. Maybe it's better to know these things. So um, that's how it related to my life. Thanks. Um, and Izzy, um, so how did you go about casting the child actor in your film? <laughs> well, Marnie McKendry is the daughter of uh, Rebecca and David McKendry, who are horror filmmakers in LA and friends of mine. And um, they've, they've produced a couple of little wonderful hams. So um, one of these little hams, Marnie, the star of my film besides, you know, meet friend, um, she was really excited to do a couple of uh, more shorts. And now at the end of the shoot, she had announced that she wanted to become an actor. And I was like, I'm sorry, and you're welcome. And now she's got a manager and headshots and crazy stuff. But um, I did a couple of casting calls and she just fit the bill with just the sort of perfect balance of innocence and a little sarcasm, a little hamminess, everything that I really needed for the short. And it just really worked out. Great. Um, a question for David. Um, so did, did you invent this character out of whole cloth? Is he based on a real person? Um, well, um, I'm from New Jersey, so it's kind of, you know, uh, kind of from where I grew up. Um, you know, we're Italian and Polish. My dad's family's from Manhattan and Long Island, and so am I, and we live in Jersey. So it was kind of a a uh, whole uh, amalgamation of like my uncles, my aunts, and just people I grew up around. Um, yeah. Great. Um, question for Neil. Um, so it was actually about the drone. Um, uh, so is this like, you? I know you um, in work with Kevin Ryan, you've made lots of shorts in the past. Is this your first like heavy drone uh, shoot? I, uh, I actually wasn't there when they were doing the drone stuff. That, um, mm -hmm because we were in lockdown. And uh, so Kevin and Ryan would go outside with the drone and I was stuck up in a different town and uh, uh, they were kind of just going around and getting, you know, some footage that they thought would work for the backdrop of a, you know, a flying car shots. The whole idea was uh, really more about creating a, a special effect that we'd seen done in movies a million times, but wanted to take our own crack at. Um, so I, unfortunately I didn't get to do the fun part of the drone stuff, but I liked looking at the footage. <laughs> um, so question for Jim, um, so of all your films I've seen, this is, has the most animation going on in it. Um, and I just wanted to ask like, how long did it take to, to sort of collect all the original art used in the film and integrate that into the animation and basically how many friends and family members worked on it? Yeah, so I have a couple of knucklehead artists are in the background and they have, um, they're not professional at all, obviously. So if you, I apologize if you can hear that. Um, but you, so it's funny because after doing that, I'm now I'm just ready to get back as much live action as possible because it took me like 14 months. You know, a lot of that has to do with I have a you know, job, full time job, and I have all the you know, family commitments, but it took me a long time. And I, the way I kind of did it is because just like how I make all my shorts, it's just kind of very scrappy so if i can get time i get if i can get the ad you know some i won't name names and hopefully i won't see this maybe they will and they'll know who they are but some of them took a long time some of them were very you know quick and got into but i kind of just worked around it if you will you know so but my wife tara was weird i um i never would have imagined we get along great but i just wouldn't imagine we would mesh together creatively and she and i were basically you know it was almost her and i every day it was the first kind of project we worked on together so it was tara myself um, you know, my son, Luke, my son, Benjamin, um, my sister, Sarah, my aunt, Nancy, my, and my nephew, Tyler, and then randomly a buddy, J.B. Serpienza, who, um, has had films, plays, done stuff with me. Um, he was part of, my name is Jonah. He was involved a little bit. And I had random people involved in other ways, but as far as art goes, that was the whole crew. Awesome. Okay. Um, Matt, Matthew and Reno, um, this question is actually more for Reno. Uh, do you consider yourself more of a positive person or an, uh, a nihilist? And how did that um, help with your interpretation of Toshi? 
、ヒガさんは自分にとってはもうポジティブな人間なのか、ニヒリストなのか、でそれで、トゥシーの解釈はどうだったのか。おお、ああ、ああ、ポジティブ。トゥシーの解釈。トゥシーの解釈。Mm-hmm. まあでもいわかる。なんて言ったんだろう。いや、ね、yeah, she can sympathize、uh, with the character's、uh, worldview.、Mm-hmm. Great.、Um, a question for Joe.、Um, so you made this film in like in the Unreal Engine.、Uh, how does that、uh, sort of like how does producing those graphics?、Um, how is it more challenging than like traditional animation? Or is it more challenging? Or is it more? I, like, I think it's a lot, completely different thing. It's, yeah, it's totally different.、Yeah. I made that whole thing in five weeks from beginning to end.、Um, all of it was free assets that you can, anyone could download. And the, the program is free to use.、Uh, it's an amazing tool. So,、uh, so yeah, it was, a, it was a wonderful experience just from beginning to end、uh, playing around and, and using that. Right. Um, so, I, just to wrap up, I have a sort of an open ended question.、Um, does anything any of you want to say to the buff audience、uh, that might be watching this on,、uh, on the web, on the internets out there? I'll say something.、Um, I love buff so much, Kevin. I've become, I feel like we've become good buddies over the years. And it's, this is,、um, I'm so excited to be back. It's been three, we had virtual a couple of years back, but it's been three years since we've been in person. Um, so, I'm so excited to spend time with all you guys and the folks that are coming year in, year out. And who, you know, the folks that can't come that are here virtually,、um, you know, say, tell, say a virtual hello. But I'm so honored to be a part of this, Kevin, and I'm excited to see you guys. I'm honored to have all of your work in, the, in this festival, in this block in particular. I think it's a very, very strong、uh, collection of shorts. And just thank you all for sending your work our, our way. I, like, I wouldn't be able to do it without you guys. So, thank you so much.、Um, Yeah, so、um, I guess that about wraps it up for the Teenage Water Polo.、Uh, thank you so much for all the filmmakers and thank you for, for watching. So, and I、uh, hope to, you'll catch some other QAs and some other shows at, at the festival. So, thank you very much.